Hello everyone, it's Janine here. So today I thought we'd have a go at drawing a stylized rose. So um, I'm using my um, Dela and Rowney mixed media pad. Um, I like this pad because it's suitable for all different types of medium. Um, and as I like working with lots of different medium, um, it's good paper for me, but you could also use watercolor paper or just some card should work okay for this project. Um, so I'm going to be using some coloured fine liners, as you saw there, and using them in a slightly different um, way today by adding some water, but you will see that later on in the process. So um, now I'm just doing a very simple stylized kind of rose, as I mentioned. Um, I'm colouring in um, the middle bit there. You'll see why that's relevant later. So I'm kind of starting with a kind of spiral, but I'm kind of not... Um, keeping it kind of equal distance, I'm kind of moving the lines in and now I'm kind of going around and adding some petals around the edge, um, different sizes kind of um, and now I'm dividing up that bit there because I felt that, that bit was a bit too big so you, as you're kind of doing this process you can kind of look at it and add petals um, as and where you feel that you need them and you can make this like as big or as small as you want by um, adding more and more layers around the outside. Um, now I'm making that bit in the middle a bit bigger, you'll see the relevance to that in a second. Um, and now I've decided to add a leaf in. Um, just similar kind of process, very sort of simple leaf. Just adding in a little bit of detail there. And now I've got my water brush, you can use any kind of paintbrush, just with a little bit of water. And that was the relevance for making that middle bit a bit bigger so that the um, so that the colour would spread out. Um, so for this you need to be using like water soluble markers. Um, so my fine liners, they're not permanent ones, so um, it works nicely for this. Also a lot of like um, Crayola felt tips I think would work. Um, Sharpies won't work because they're permanent, but any kind of um, water-based pen will work, so yeah. Um, you can see I've got a little bit of bleeding um, from the leaf into the rose and also vice versa. If you don't like that, then you should just wait in between for um, each piece to um, dry before starting the next bit. Um, and also you can see I lost some detail there in the um, leaf, but you can always add that in later once it's dry. Um, now I'm doing a similar kind of process again, um, just so you can see it in a different colour. And you can see that, you know, there's no exact science to this, but you, you can see... Um, what I'm doing and um, you know it varies each time but that's you know the beauty of it um, there's no rose or flower that's ever exactly you know the same um, but you can see I'm going for a similar kind of process with a spiralish um, type sh shape at the start um, beginning from that dot in the middle and then dividing up that um, middle bit where it was a little bit too big and wanted more petals and then um, going around the edge and adding adding my petals around the edge um, and as I do each petal, I'm kind of making sure roughly that they don't sort of um, start and stop in the same place as kind of the layer before, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like layered up and um, starting in different places. So here I decided to add a little bit more green down the middle of my leaf, just so that it gave a bit more green when I dilute it down. But equally, this step of diluting down, you know, you don't have to have to do this you know you've got um, a perfectly nice stylized rose without you know adding the color in in the middle and um, equally you know you can use this process with lots of different mediums you know you could use a pencil like it doesn't have to be to be watered down it's just um, an approach that I decided to take but you can still um, follow the same idea of drawing the rose And equally, if you like the process of um, watering down your markers like I've done here, you can do that with many different shapes. It obviously doesn't have to be um, be the rose. So you can adapt this and um, take all inspiration from this video that you like. Um, the most important thing is that you're having 
a nice relaxing time and um, it's good for positive mental well-being is the main the main point and here is the final roses that I've drawn I hope this gives you the confidence to have a go at some drawing even if you haven't drawn since you were at school um, you know I like to promote that um, art can be for everyone um, and you know we can all have a go so I hope you enjoy this and here's another two roses that um, I did film but unfortunately my um, hand was um, covering it so you couldn't see it very well so I had to refilm but um, there's the other two just to give you um, more ideas of what they can look like similar but you know. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you liked it please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, bye for now.